Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome back to my vlog. If you are brand new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please take a moment and subscribe because it would mean so much to me. If you have subscribed and you're watching this video right now, I really appreciate you. And for all of you watching, please give this video a big thumbs up before we get into the video. So, I have a very big announcement to make and I'm super, super happy because my wish has finally came true. After years and years of asking my parents to register me in gymnastics, they finally did. And I went for my very first lesson about two weeks ago and it was very, very fun. Okay, just a mini story about how my first day at gymnastics went. So when I first got there, there were mostly little girls that were way younger than me, like maybe the youngest was five years old or six years old and there was only one girl who was my age but i just had fun and enjoyed we did warm up so since the gymnastics coaches realized that three girls me and two other girls were a bit more advanced in gymnastics than the other kids they moved us to another section and separated us and then at the end of the class, they told us that we were intermediate and it kind of makes sense because I do a lot of gymnastics at home. I have my gymnastics mat right there behind me that I like to use, even though I've been a bit busy, but I'm gonna try to keep practicing gymnastics more and more. But that's how the first day went and I'm actually going to go for gymnastics lessons again tomorrow. So I'm very excited. I have some videos and short clips that my mom took of me when she came to pick me up, even though mine was longer since I got into the intermediate. So she was taking some videos of me. So here they are. Okay, in this video, I'm practicing my walkovers and I'm still trying to perfect them because it's all about making it look nice. If you see what I did, it didn't look too nice. So I just really need to perfect my walkovers just in case I have a competition or something like that. I want to make it look 100% perfect. And that's my gymnastics place logo. This section I'm practicing my handstands and I really have to learn how to do my handstand for a long amount of time because it would be pretty cool and even to walk in the handstand position so that's why i have to practice my handstands more and more and even for my handstand position so i could be perfectly straight and i could stay in the air for longer without falling down okay you could see i'm in this position right here and i don't know what it's called or the equipment i'm using if you know and if the comment section is open, please comment down below because I'm not too familiar with the name of gymnastics poses or the equipment used for gymnastics. But I know that you need flexibility to do this and lots of balance. We'll do that. For now, just work on getting your knees nice and high and then straightening your arms. Or your legs, I mean. I guess your arms are already straight. So you gotta remember which direction our hands go. Do they go up the hill? They go down. Yeah, there you go. That looks so nice. Over here, I think I'm doing a backward somersault. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be called, but I'm just going to call it a backward somersault. And I hesitated a bit before I did this because I was scared about my neck and I wasn't exactly sure about the position I was supposed to be in. And I was scared to do it so I just had to make sure that everything was fine before I could make the first attempt. But you could see that I'm doing a pose again which I don't know the name of but I know that on the ground it looks like the froggy balance which I do balancing on only my hands but I'm just gonna call it the froggy balance in the air. Okay, and finally this. I've never seen one of these before, but I could do a cartwheel with this on both sides, obviously. You just 
put your hands up like you're doing a normal cartwheel, but you have to like move your hands to the other side of it. I'm guessing that this is some sort of beam on the ground. I've used this at school when we had a ninja warrior thing and I did a cartwheel on it, but I end up never like landing with my feet still on the beam. So it's really hard and I'm still gonna practice that like putting a long line of something even outside in my backyard or my front yard and trying to do a cartwheel and still landing on the line with my feet perfectly. By looking at the video, I could tell that I did that cartwheel wrong as well. Because both of my legs were supposed to be straight, but they were bent in. The good thing is that I got closer to landing on the beam. Okay, I tried this thing again. And this time, my gymnastics coach told me that I should watch a red line. That was like kind of in the middle of the wall. I could watch it because it was still and it wasn't moving. So I put my head up and I was looking at it and I guess it kind of helped. As I keep trying and trying, I could get better. And I'm also going to try this pose on the ground. Okay, so those are all the videos that my mom recorded of me while i was at my gymnastics i hope you guys enjoyed that video please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you could see each brand new video i upload and you might even be the first person to watch it if you're quick enough i'm so happy and i appreciate all of you guys who have been commenting on my videos and watching them and liking my videos and for all of my subscribers i'm so happy that all of you guys are there supporting me thank you guys so much don't forget to come back to see more fun and exciting videos bye